Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if black and white squares appear on the computer screen. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to disable the color filter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select settings from the list of options. Now in here, click on the accessibility category on the left pane and on the right side, click on color filters. And now in here, if the toggle for color filters is set to on, just turn it off. And now the last thing you can do in here is to turn on the toggle for keyboard shortcut for color filters. If you turn it on, you can simply use the keyboard shortcut which is displayed in here. Windows key plus Ctrl plus C. This will turn on and off the color filters. And you can just close this window and check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to update the graphics driver. To do this right, click the Windows button and select Device Manager from the list of options. Now in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand Display Adapters, then right-click the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. In here, just click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best available drivers on your PC. Now, after installing them, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to change the resolution settings on your monitor. To do this, press the Windows button and select the Settings icon. Now click on System on the left pane and then on the right side, click on display. Now in here, under scale and layout, make sure next to display resolution to click on the drop down menu and select a different resolution. Afterward, you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to run diagnostics on your computer. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type memory diagnostic and click on it from the search results. And now you can just click on restart now and check for problems and Windows will scan for any issues and try to fix them as soon as possible. Afterwards, you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.